Hello, my name is Christian Walter and in our new YouTube channel Trading Step by Step we want to show you more knowledge, more information, be as most transparent as uh, possible to really help you to invest and find the right um, assets and asset class uh, to, to invest. Today we want to start with um, stocks and we want to show you the different types of stocks, um, your duties and uh, obligations uh, when you own a stock and how you buy stocks with Interactive Broker. Here especially also to show you how to buy fractional shares because you can also yeah, invest in less than one share what is especially important for stocks like Amazon or very high price um, stocks. And if you see it simple, a stock is the easiest way to um, yeah, be part or to invest in a company. Most probably there's a fixed price uh, for a stock uh, which, you, which you need to uh, pay and then um, you can participate or you can gain something if the stock price uh, went up. But also there's uh, different forms like dividends where you can also um, earn money. Normally this will be happening in a um, yeah, stock exchange where you can buy and sell. There's also private um, things uh, where investors um, sell some of their shares outside of a stock exchange. But I think today we want to concentrate here or we want to um, show you detailed how things uh, happened um, on a stock exchange. So if you want to see more about this, you can also subscribe to our channel. So you will not miss any of the videos um, in the future. And um, in the next step, I want to show you how to do this uh, with Interactive Broker. Yeah, now we want to show you how to place an order with Interactive Broker or here with the Trader Workstation, what we can see. And there's different templates, Mosaic and Classic, but you can also create your own templates. Um, I think it's everywhere pretty simple. You just choose this uh, symbol you want to trade. Let's say, for example, Disney. If you don't know the symbol, you can also type it here or look up for a symbol or for a specific um, stock. And then I normally do it here in the order entry window where I select buy or sell, which type of uh, order. And then if I want to get a specific quantity in US dollar or some amount of shares. And as I said earlier, for example, if you are not able to buy a full share, you can also trade parts of a share. For example, here for Disney, I put 1.5. Let's select a limit price and then how long the order should be valid and then just submit. And as soon as you submit the order, you see it here. You can change it. You can change the quantity. I can change the price here, update it. It's pretty easy if you know where to look. And if you did it a few times, I think you will know all the setups. I think. Most important is that you are able to uh, buy also fractional shares here. Same way you can do it in the uh, classic um, trading template where we have here, for example, order entry window where you can place or put all the details in and then just transmit it in the same way which I displayed it earlier in Mosaic version. There's many other ways to place an order. I think the best for the beginning is uh, through your account management and yeah. just to let you know account management you can't log in on the same time you can see it here when you're logged in in your trader workstation but just to give you some idea you put here the symbol or the name of the stock you want to trade then you get a list where you can see all the different stocks or exchanges where you can trade it and then same way just select your entry price your order type and your quantity and the duration of the order and transmit it and later on you can always change it here as well if you want to see more about trader workstation and about client management just click on the link in the video and you will find more information on how to place an order for interactive broker yeah, what two different types of 
stocks the most common or the, the um, two types we differentiate here this is first of all common stocks and preferred stock I most think people are trading common stocks and preferred one to start with this this the main difference is here that you have no voting rights so when it comes time for a company to elect the board of directors or vote of any form of corporate policy preferred shareholders have no voice uh, in the future of the company and yeah, in preferred stock one thing is normally also different it's the dividend here's a fixed dollar the amount calculated by the price of the stock and this is often based on the pair value before a preferred stock is offered so it's normally a little bit different than what you have in common stocks and common stocks yeah. i think it's uh, what i would say 80 90 percent of people have in their portfolio you can of course use all your rights you can vote and shares represent a claim on profits and offer voting rights. I think this sentence yeah, summarizes everything what is different to preferred stocks. And yeah, last but not least, we also said there is rights and obligations. And I think if we talk about rights, we already said voting power on major issues but also ownership in a portion of the company the right to trans transfer the ownership entitlement to dividends and, and as well as the opportunity to inspect corporate books and records and the right to sue for wrongful acts so these are the main six rights for common shareholders if we yeah speak about obligations of course you need to pay um, your stock but other than this i think there's not much uh, to know i think shareholder obligations are depending on the type of business and also how many shares are, are included and there's also a shareholder agreement in some point but i think more important for you is to know the rights and the two different types of stocks which are available this is also very important to choose yeah for your strategy so if you want to have more information just click here on the next video and you will see more information on how or which stocks to select one last thing for stocks i need to add is also ipos so there's a little bit different because uh, ipos they uh, have quite often 180 days restriction that you can't sell them you have to keep them for 180 days before you can start to sell these positions um, and i think um, these are the main things uh, the for equities of, um, stocks the different types and also about applications or your obligations and uh, duties when you own a stock we want to summarize the, this um, topic and i think stocks are still one of the most democratic uh, way to invest in a company of course companies use stocks to uh, um, generate external cash um, for maybe some risky um, projects or more risk projects what they don't want to um, do with their own capital and um, till the moment um, everyone who owns minimum one stock can visit the annual meeting can ask his questions to the board of directors and also to get all the information um, which you need so i think this is also very important uh, for you to know and as we seen earlier you can also just trade um, fractional shares you don't even have to um, buy a full share so i think even for small investors it's uh, possible to create a very good portfolio and um, I think most investors, most portfolios uh, have as a base um, shares uh, where they generate their um, biggest uh, performance until the moment. If you see it on a long term, um, stocks are still the most profitable investment. And I think if we come to transparency, um, it's quite simple comparing to other products. Um, and um, yeah, I would be happy if you leave any comment, uh, every, any recommendation for the future and um, also a like 
please also subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss anything in the future. I will be happy to welcome you again and um, yeah, stay safe. See you soon.